Donald Trump supporters are constructed like my testosterone levels, just all types of foolish. I'm the librarian. I'm and I came, and I to, came read. to read. Before I really dig into the supporters of the tangerine tyrants like I'm a, a Disney movie, you can call me holes the way that I need some type of shovel. Bitch, I might need a jackhammer to really get inside. I need to dig inside these hoes. Let's talk about Rachel Dolezal. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe she went to somebody's coupon magazine, a coupon book, and she cut out a two for one special bitch because she disrespected uh, the transgender community and the black community in some type of sick and twisted body one get one free type of two for one ass deal bitch I am upset about it before I get into anything intellectual I really have to cover the surface area because it seems like her scalp is constructed like the surface area of either the dark side of the moon and or Mars because it is upsetting me the way that I'm sure those braids are causing craters to really start forming on the surface of her skull if we're talking intergalactic her braids really do remind me of the Big Bang the way that them holes are placed at random them throughout the space-time continuum that you call her scalp. The braids are so confused because they thought they were going to be on an African-American scalp so you know they would have more footing, they would be able to be more stable, they'd have an anchor. But this soft, tender-headed, built-ass bitch, her braids are constructed like dreads on a raccoon. It just doesn't make any goddamn sense. Rachel Dolezal, don't ever compare your mayonnaise-ass transfer. I don't know what type of ATM would be able to accept that transfer fee, bitch. Don't compare your ranch dressing ass transfer of ethnicity to the transgender community. That's not gonna happen, not on my goddamn watch. You best believe it. And you were quite simply asked, if you were to be getting reparations, would you be getting a check? And your ass was like, no girl, cause I'm black, I'm not African American. As I said before, the simple fact that all these people are giving you this platform to say this dumb shit really shows off your white privilege and it demonstrates how white people are in such control of society that they can manipulate whole ethnicities to their liking as long as it serves their purpose. And I say that because if my black ass got online anywhere talking about I'm white and trying to get some type of interview saying that I'm white, I would not be accepted. The white community would not accept my ass as a fucking white Caucasian ass male. I saw online that these biracial twins even tried to identify as fully white and they were not accepted. So for your ass to be playing with our blackness like it's some type of a monopoly game, like bitch we're playing some type of checkers, bitch, I got the chess and checkmate for your ass, bitch. You're playing the wrong game, bitch, and you got the right one. As usual, white people are continuing to use our skin as goddamn costumes because when she didn't put on this full ass bodysuit of tanning oil, she was out here trying to sue university for discriminating against her because she was white. So when it suits her, she can take off everything that uh, even remotely resembles blackness. I'm not sure what's going on there. I want to see how quickly she would flip if somebody from the KKK came into any establishment that she is in and said, well, girl, I'm blowing up all the black people. I'm shooting all the black people in the goddamn room. So what's up? Bitch, I'm going to tell you right now that she would be pulling out them bra- She be- She be pulling out them goddamn braids, bitch. She be wiping off that motherfucking uh, Donald Trump built ass goddamn tanning oil. She would transform so quickly, bitch. Like Beast Boy from Teen Titans, bitch. She would turn back so that she can protect her own goddamn life. I'm telling you now, bitch, I can't wipe this shit off. If somebody walks in right now and decides they want to kill all the black people, guess who's fucking dead, bitch? My ass. I can't wipe this shit off. I'm dead as fuck. A lot of white people love to play them type of games. Oh, girl, you dance so cool. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to steal all your music. Ah, oh, look at how they dress. Oh, my God. But won't want to give us our goddamn rights, bitch. As soon as some fuck shit starts going down, bitch, all the cult that they stole everything that they wanted. They grabbed that shit and leave before they get blown the fuck up too, bitch. I am sick and tired of it. And Rachel, leave the transgender community alone. You can barely see the right fucking hairstylist, bitch. You can barely go to the right salon, bitch. You don't need to be making no critiques on nobody's goddamn sexuality and shit like that. Keep that shit away from me with your dusty opossum shaped head ass, bitch. And you can't play dead around me because I'm catching the gag. I know the goddamn tea. And online there was a slight debate because um I saw that there were people losing their homes who voted for Donald Trump and because of his policies he's not they're not losing their homes I guess because uh, he needs to seize certain properties in order to build the wall okay there was someone else who now is only going to be able to rely on welfare food stamps and it's a low amount Donald Trump's policies made that should happen and now their asses barely can eat and they voted for him so I was like I was like girl just starve I don't give a fuck I don't care and like oh don't, a lot of people are like don't stoop to that level bitch what level are you talking about this is political warfare eliminate the goddamn enemy star 
starve. It, since white supremacy is, so, is passed down from generation to generation, bitch, it seems like the only way to usher in the new, like Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones said, sometimes to usher in the new, you have the old must be put to rest. Starve, girl. Natural selection, bitches. You the ones who did this shit to yourself. And let me tell you something. You hoes thought that you would be privileged. You thought that Donald Trump's policies would not affect you negatively because your asses were white. Let me tell you something. You're not completely protected unless you're a straight white male who has money, bitch. If you don't have all four of these hoes, don't expect Donald Trump's policies to just lift you up. You raise me up. Bitch, it's not going to work like that. So meanwhile, you thought that at the expense of minorities, you didn't give a shit about their lives. You didn't give a shit about their lack of access to healthcare, lack of access to education, both of which can cause their deaths if they don't have them. Lack of education can have your ass on the goddamn streets. Bitch, you be dead. Your lack of access to healthcare, bitch, dead. So bitch, all those things that you thought would just affect minorities and you didn't give a shit about them, I know, let that shit affect you now. Let that shit, the shit that you were gonna pass on to uh, people that you probably viewed as sub human I want you to, all that shit to be passed on to you so you can feel what you were you thought you were just going to uh, ignore nah bitch experience the shit okay since you thought that our complaints since you thought that our concerns didn't matter no experience the shit that we said was going to become worse for us since you thought it was all a game bitch no dwell in it I don't give a fuck what happens a lot of you dim-witted bitches, there's no arguing, there's no debating with y'all asses. Some of y'all need to either be exported to a different island or pass the fuck away. I'm not, but I'm not playing around with you hoes anymore. Minorities, especially minorities in poverty, reading out of textbooks that are five, six, seven years old. But you bitches talking about pull yourselves up by your bootstraps, bitch. Even our education is outdated, but you hoes uh, want us to just make magic happen. No matter the limited resources, no matter the lack of investment that the government has with these schools, with our healthcare, with communities, Communities, with families, especially in poverty, bitch, look at how they treated Flint. That's just one example. That that was their water. If they viewed water as trivial, imagine the countless other factors in their community that they ignore if they viewed water as not important. These are the type of things that we're talking about. It's life or death. A lot of you bitches who are privileged think that, oh, well, it's just policy. Oh, well, it's just politics. There's no need to get so uh, vicious. No, it's a life and death decision with people who don't have as much power as you. So no, bitch, since you want to play with life, go ahead and experience the type of crazy shit that bitch, bitches' homes getting taken away from them because of Donald Trump's policies, bitch, and they voted for his ass. Bitches, um, meals on wheels and benefits and, well, take all that shit away from them. Take it away. Maybe it will fuel a fire up, in the, up underneath their asses to get some shit done about the trash that's going on in our government. Maybe it'll make them go out to the polls and vote these bitches out. No, I want you hoes to experience the trauma that you were trying to put our asses through because you didn't think that we were worth it. Oh, it's just politics. Of course it can just be politics politics to you when you have layers of protection and privilege around your ass. It's not just politics to those people who don't have as many resources as you do, girl. That's like your ass is drowning, right? And a fish is looking at your ass like, well, girl, it's just oxygen, girl. It's just air. Why are you pressed about it? Bitch, it's not the same thing to you as it is to me, bitch. I'm going to drown, bitch. You can breathe underwater. I can't. So the next time that you hoes talk about, oh, it's just politics. No, bitch, I'm drowning. So yes, I'm going to fight back. Ain't no turning the other cheek. I'm going to, I'm going to politically beat your ass. I don't have time to be playing no games with y'all asses when people when minorities out here suffering not going to happen on my watch now y'all may want to call me mcdonald's or wendy's because the way that donald trump's potato shaped head ass is built it makes me want to fry his ass up and serve him as a side next to his burger built ass triple chins have a good evening